to get some uh, cooking inspo for the upcoming holidays, we're turning to social media. We'll be teaming up with some Instagram creators like Joy Wilson, who you may know better as Joy the Baker. Yeah, Joy's popular blog inspires home cooks all over the world. And get this, y'all. She's got almost 500,000 followers on Insta. Come on. Not to mention she's the editor-in-chief of her own magazine. Hey, Joy. Hi, Joy. How are you? Hi, good morning. Hi, how are you? We got That's some good. New Orleans love. Joy, We're so excited. I know you gave me the music. I know. Loved I, it. Exactly. Joy, Our, you sent this to us. This is, we cannot wait. We don't even want to listen to what you're cooking. We just want to eat it. But tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so I made you praline monkey bread oh, muffins, which oh is one of the easiest recipes Ooh. from the new magazine. And while you enjoy them, I thought I could make them for you here. Does that sound good? Please, please. You're by based out way, of New Orleans. Yes. By the way, can I just say I, I love a lot of cities, but not, New Orleans has my heart, right? I know. Hoda, we miss you in New Orleans. New Orleans is so special. I love living here. We just celebrate food all the time. It's, it's just one of the most magical cities. All and right. we celebrate a little bit of New Orleans with the praline sauce on it's those muffins. It's so good. Okay. I'm going to start. How do we start? Good. Do this. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking, these are canned biscuits, the kind you find in the refrigerator section. Mm -hmm. Super easy. You know, we'll keep it easy as we go into the holiday season. You take each mm. muffin and, or each biscuit, I should say, and cut it into quarters. Mm -hmm. And once you cut a few biscuits and quarters, we're gonna take them and dip them in melted butter. Of oh, course, no. delicious. <laughs> Just one of the greatest things in the world. Yeah, so we'll dipping, dip a few pieces mm. in oh. melted butter. Oh, dip me you in can butter. do this with your fingers, you mm. can do it with tongs if you prefer. And then from the melted butter, we'll go straight into cinnamon sugar. Mm. Oh my God, it's like cinnamon toast, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, exactly. Cinnamon toast is like one of the most comforting things in the entire world, mm -hmm. so. Toss your biscuit pieces in cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Just the smell right, right now is, is enough for me, I feel like. So I have a muffin tin that I've lined with muffin, muffin papers, mm -hmm. okay? And we'll just take our biscuit, cinnamon sugar, buttery biscuit oh, pieces. Oh God, stop it. Is it good? Uh -huh. And shove them, <laughs> oh so gently, into each muffin cup. So we'll get four biscuit pieces into each muffin cup. And we'll just repeat this process mm. until our, our muffin tin is full. Mm. And this is one of those easy overnight recipes. I wanted a few overnight recipes, the kind that you Prep the night before, put it in the refrigerator, and the next morning when you want to feel like yeah. a hero. This is like a good Christmas morning recipe. You know what? You're right. Do it. Do it the night exactly. before. Exactly. Wake up and bake it. Mm -hmm. So where do the exactly. pralines, pralines? Everyone's got a different way of saying pralines. it. Pralines. You call them pralines? Well, there's different ways, aren't? It? There's lots of ways. No pralines, right, Joy? <laughs> well, there are different ways. Hoda is right. I say praline. A lot of people say praline. You say, you say the word the way your grandma says it. That's, okay. yes. that's the deal. My grandmother said it in Arabic. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yummy. Keep going. This is so. How do you? Wh when do they go in the praline praline? So, yeah. The 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 muffin the muffins end up looking like this mm -hmm. once you. Fill all the cups. Mm -hmm. So they'll go into a 350 degree oven. Mm -hmm. And I like to bake them on the top third of the oven because you get a really nice browning across mm -hmm. the top. Yeah. That's a little baker's tip. If you want your stuff nice and golden brown on the top, top third of the oven is where you should bake okay. them. But the praline sauce is super easy. Okay. okay we just have you about 20 all... seconds left. So we might have to kind of, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. No, no problem. Because I made some ahead of time. Mm. And what we do is take our beautifully crisp muffins mm -hmm. and add a few pecans and just drizzle them in that sugary sauce. Mm, that looks so, oh. come on, joy. Oof. I mean, Ooh. yummy. Oh, God. We're eating them and we're really enjoying it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad they made their way all the way up to New York for And they you. stayed delicious. Well, yeah. Joy, thank Joy, you so, so much. Joy, we appreciate you. Thanks again. And thank who, you. And Huda. Okay. <laughs> for, for these the, recipes, Huda. you can head to today.com slash food. You can also find the latest issue of Joy's magazine. It's on stands now. And if you want to see more from foodie Instagram creators like Joy, head to our Today Show food page on Instagram.
That was great. Love Joy. All right, we've made it through the week, so we have earned a cheat day. Cheat day Friday, and today, nutritionist, our pal Joy Bauer is putting her healthier spin on two desserts, and I've never wanted to see you more in person than today, Joy. Good morning, Joy. <laughs> Good morning, guys. And you know, I am always chasing that perfect brownie recipe with a healthified twist. And these gems are so insanely good. They have an intense chocolate flavor. They're like gooey, moist in the inside with puddles of chocolate. But the best part, well, aside from the taste, the best part is that everything comes together in one bowl. So you don't need an electric mixer. You don't need a double boiler. One bowl to clean, one bowl to mix, mm -hmm. and I figured it. out a way to make it without any butter and without any granulated so sugar. How do you up so the it chocolate? also has. Uh, so well, here's what I'm I'm starting with: whole wheat flour. So this is three quarter really? cup whole wheat flour, and you could also swap in an all purpose gluten flat, uh, gluten free flour if mm. that's your thing. I just added half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. So mm. now it's super chocolatey, and a little trick. This is half a teaspoon of instant coffee. Okay. It's not going to give it a mocha or coffee flavor, but it intensifies the chocolate flavor. Hmm. This is half a teaspoon of baking powder, whoops, and a little bit of kosher salt. Huh. So after this is mixed together, and I also have to say, if you don't have cocoa, if you don't have instant coffee in the house, you could leave it out and you won't miss it. But if you do use it, there's a really good chance you're never going to leave it out again because hmm. it really like elevates that chocolatey flavor. So now I dump in all of the wet ingredients. This was just three eggs lightly beaten. Mm -hmm. Instead of the butter, I'm using half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And I'm telling mm. you, it does the this trick. really interesting. Yeah, I love applesauce. Right? A little bit of maple syrup. That's going to be our sweetener. And just okay. to let you know, most recipes will call for one to two cups of a sweetener. I only use three quarter cup and it hits the sweet spot. Okay. You mix this up and now we're going to add our chocolate chips. So let's, oh. let's say that this is velvety smooth mm -hmm. and I put in one cup. I'm using semi sweet chocolate chips. If you like a real, like intense bitter chocolate, you could go a little bit more dark. And, um, Ian is team cherry chocolate. So here I'm just showing people that there's a great variation. If you want to make fudgy chocolate cherry brownies, oh. I take frozen oh, cherries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thaw it out, chop them up, and we toss those right in as okay. well. And I'm going to show you what the batter looks like. So the batter here, you'll see it's nice and smooth and luscious. And I'm using an 8x8 eight eight baking pan that I lined with parchment paper. And the reason I like using an 8x8 eight eight is because these brownies will puff, and they're going to be hearty and big. And, of course, a little decor on I the top. Of and it's so clean, too. There's not a lot of cleanup after this. I like that, too. No. You know? Yes. So this goes in the oven. I set it at 350 mm -hmm. um, for gooey brownies, about 35 Yum. minutes. Look at, look at these babies. Wow. I know. That's I wish good. you guys were here. Yeah, There's a chip with every bite, which is I what love I love. That. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yes. That looks good. And, I'm a big cobbler again, fan. We, what do you got? Oh, Al, I so have your back. So what? this is a single serve pear cobbler and you can Ooh, also swap okay. out the pear if you want and you can do an apple but i want to give pears some love they're mm -hmm. loaded with fiber there's thousands of varieties and i've tested many of the varieties they all work so i started with one pear and i diced it up skin on because you want to keep that fiber in there and all i do is add this is a microwave safe bowl because we're making this in a matter of minutes in mm -hmm. the microwave okay like a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon Two teaspoons of maple syrup. Okay. And then this, this is a slurry I made. It's a teaspoon, a minuscule amount of cornstarch with a little bit of water, and mm. I add that in. You stir this up. You put it in the microwave for one minute. Right. You take it out. You stir it up again, and you put it in for one final minute. So it's two minutes total in and the microwave. Quickly, You're just going to stir it in about out of time. What's your topic? So the topping is a one crushed oh, that's graham cute. cracker, and the I, inside gets so gooey. And of course, you guys know Joy, everything's that better with the whipped cream. So All right, we're going to put the full recipe. Joy, we love you. Thank you yeah. for joining us. Oh, I wish I could take that bite. For more, I go know, to today.com/slash/food, and we'll be right back. Take a bite Yum. for us. Take a big oh, you bite got it. for us. Here we go.
If all your produce is starting to go bad before you get around to using them, here's something you should know. Don't toss them out. Okay, sustainable chef Joel Gamerin is here to show us how to turn old fruits and veggies into delicious snacks and desserts so that nothing goes to waste. Hi, Joel. Hey, guys. How are you? Look at Joel. It's just so good to see her. Who's your cameraman? Because so oh, far, the... Sam. She's amazing. Sam Mountain. And she's just helping me out through this time. But let me tell you guys, that kitchen you showed like a minute ago, Yeah, I'm in my garage. Okay, this is my kitchen right now. Like, what? Let me give you a little spin. Let, let me, me give you what's let's happening. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait. I'm dizzy. <laughs> me too, but what are the lockers for? I mean, I work out in here too, Jenna. We got the Peloton. We got everything. But being kind of a chef and doing the educational thing, I had to build a kitchen set. So this is my new little kitchen. I love it. Wow, oh, it's amazing. Jenna, be real. Is it cute? <laughs> no, I think it looks really beautiful. You're giving Nancy Myers a run for her money. Oh, okay, give sure. me a, get out of here. Joel, if 20% of the food we eat is, is we throw out mm -hmm. is edible. That's what you're saying. You're saying that every week we might be throwing out things that we need. So tell us what we should be doing with those old fruits and veggies. Absolutely. And I think right now is just a horrible time to be wasting food, right? And so we're going to start with carrot tops. So carrot tops is one that oh, we all nick off the top of carrots and they just throw away. Even grocery stores throw these away. So I'm going to make a green goddess dressing out of these. So I chop these up. You kind of use them in place, in place of like parsley or something, right? So wow. these go right into a bowl. This has some sour cream and yogurt in it already. And then Look at this gnarly avocado. Ew. Yeah, that's, I wouldn't wow. use that, Joel. Oh, Jenna, we're going to start using it because it tastes amazing and it's creamy and it just looks a little bit alieny, and that's okay. Um, okay. So I'm adding that to it. I got some basil and I got some mint. And then the key to this is soy oil. Soy oil is incredibly sustainable, really neutral in flavor. We all got to get behind soy. It's a good ingredient to do. A little bit of soil, some salt, and then you just blitz it up. I'm going to do this now. And you have this really good, see if you guys can see. Yeah. It looks good. Looks good. Yeah. It's almost like a ranch dressing. It's unbelievable. Mm. But, the, but the carrot tops give it so much light. It's like bright and springy. So don't throw away your carrot tops and then you can just spoon this over. A really good salad like this. That looks awesome. Hey, Joel, I know, I, that looks really good. So I'm what do you do? Guilty. I know. What do you do if you have, like, herbs? They're starting to wilt. They look brown on the edges. What should you do with those? So first of all, blend them into sauces like that. But also, if you have an herb that's very droopy, yeah. you can dip it into ice water, and it will actually perk it right back up. So that's a good little trick just to know. Now, next thing. I got apples. See, do you guys see how like busted up this apple looks? You guys ever have apples on the bottom of the fruit yeah. bowl and it's yeah. like, yeah. you forget that about it. A little busted, but not too bad. Yeah, not too bad, but you've had it where you can put your finger in it. Yeah. It's like gross, right? <laughs> yeah. so, so there's a way to save that and you can kind of bake the apples. You can make things like applesauce and things like that. But we're going to do what's called a baked apple. So I've got some walnuts right here. You can go a little bit down, Sam, so you can see. It. Yeah, there you go. Just the camera. Walnuts, I've got a little bit of brown sugar, and I'm just kind of busting that up. Maybe a little cinnamon, cardamom, whatever spice you got. If you don't have walnuts, you can use pecans, you can use pistachios, it doesn't really matter. And then I've got an apple, and I'm literally just digging out the top of this gnarly looking apple. This apple's been around in my house for way too long. I love, by the way, for this, have you guys ever had jazz apples? Uh-uh. What is no. that? Oh, Hoda, girl, get behind <laughs> jazz apples. They are good for this. So I take this filling, fill up each apple. Do you guys see this all right? I'm going to hold it to camera. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, you stuff it. You stuff it. Exactly, Jenna. So a little bit of that, a little bit of butter on top. Oh. And then all you got to do is just pour some water around it. Bake this for about, you know, 45 minutes, 375 degrees, and they come out looking like this. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Sam, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Wow. With a little vanilla ice cream? Oh, that looks Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, Joel, we so got to get to the banana. Cream. We got to yeah. get to the banana because people are cooking banana bread We're like over crazy. It. But you have but another I'm recipe. Over it. I'm over all these, like, like I don't know what they call quarantine cooking shows, right? Like, 
we have a brown banana right here. Most people would throw this away. It's pretty brown, but a way to save it is to cut it up, right? And by the way, the banana peel makes really good vegan bacon, believe it or not. What? Wait, what? Yeah, you can eat banana peel. It's so good. But look how gnarly this looks, right? So crazy banana. Chop it up. Freeze it. Okay? And then I'm going to blitz this. I add a little bit of water. Just water. And a little bit of vanilla. Yum. Yep. And it becomes the creamiest most amazing looking. And you just you freeze that up, Joel? <laughs> Joel, you just freeze that up? <laughs> you freeze it up, you scoop it, and you've got ice cream. Boom. That was awesome, Joel. Joel, you're the best. We Thank love you. you. So much. I'm never going to look at carrot tops the same again. All right. For these recipes, head to today.com slash food. Check out Joel's new series. It's called Stretched. On brownbanana.tv. What? Huh. By the way, Joel's taking over our Insta page. Check him out, Hoda and Jenna, uh, to get more snacks and stuff coming up after this.